Here is my final update from the Christmas in the Caribbean cruise with country music stars Brian White and Colin Ray. On day seven of the cruise, we had the second of two exclusive concerts by Colin and Brian, and it started off with a laugh. Watch what happens after Santa brought Brian out onto the stage. Brian White! Thank you very much. Here's a little bit of Brian's performance of his number one song from 1996, So Much for Pretending. And Brian had some very kind words for his pal, Colin Ray. Well, I can't say enough about my friend Colin Ray. He is obviously one of my favorite singers and, and one of the guys that I really looked up to uh, when I was coming up the ranks. And, um, it, you know, typically, stereotypically, when you meet or you're around someone that sings like that or has that kind of talent, they should be jerks, you know? They should be very unpleasant to be around, you know, just standoffish, you know, all that kind of stuff. He's exactly the opposite of that. He's the polar opposite of that. One of the nicest people I've ever met on the planet. Just such a great human being. I love sitting around and talking with him. And and uh, and then, you know, after you spend time with him, you're like, man, what a, what a great guy. And then, and then you watch him go on stage, and then you're like, oh, yeah, he sings. He plays and sings. But I'm um, really thrilled and honored to be here sharing the stage with my friend Colin today and, and this whole trip. It's been absolutely amazing. So thank you for having me. A real highlight of Brian's set was when he sang God Gave Me You, a song that became a huge hit in the Philippines in 2015 after it was featured on a popular television show there. For all the times I felt cheated, I complain, you know how I love to complain. For all the wrong. I repeat it, though I was to blame, I still curse that rain. I didn't have a plan, didn't have a clue. I fell out of the blue, and God gave me you to show me what's real. There's more to life. Than just a fear. Now that I'm worth, it's right before my eyes. Now that I live for, though I didn't know why. Now I do. Come on, y'all, here we go. It's God gave me you. Then it was Colin Ray's turn to take the stage. And the thing that struck me was how good his voice still is more than 20 years after he first sang these songs. I've seen that look before Here comes that doubt again You think that girl we saw Was more than just a Yes, there was a time I thought she had it all She meant the world to me Back when the world was small But that was a river This is the ocean That never carried This much emotion Nothing compares to this deep devotion 
that was a river. This is the ocean. And here's a little bit of his 1995 hit, One Boy, One Girl. He finally gave in to his friend's girlfriend when she said there's someone you should meet. At a crowded restaurant way across town, he waited impatiently. When she walked in, their eyes met, and they both stared. And right there and then, everyone else disappeared. Sing it with me now. But one boy. This seemed to me like a more sentimental, mellow set than Colin did in the first concert. He did a cover version of the old Don McLean song, And I Love You So, that I just loved. And I love you so The people ask me how How I've lived till now I tell them I don't know I guess they understand How lonely life has been But life began again The day you took my hand And another great cover of a sentimental old song was this one Written by Bob Dylan But I always think of it as a Peter, Paul and Mary song I'm walking down that long I'm bound I can't tell But goodbye is too good a word, baby So I'll just say fairly well I ain't saying that you treated me unkind You could have done better, but I don't mind You just sort of wasted Later on, Colin brought Brian White back onto the stage and they did a little tribute to Glenn Campbell. After the show, Brian and Colin signed pictures for their fans. And then later that evening, there was a get-together with an exclusive group of VIP guests who got to participate in a question-and-answer session with the two stars. Here's what Brian had to say when asked to name someone that he really enjoyed going out on tour with. I got the tour with Vince Gill in 1997. And so spending a, a year being able to be the opening act for his tour was just, I mean, just otherworldly for me because I was really young at the time and, and just, I couldn't believe that I had been asked to be a part of that, you know, and so I learned a lot too, not just watching this enormous great band every night and watching this this monster of, a, of, a, of an artist, but uh, I learned how to not take myself too seriously by being around Vince Gill too, you know, so it was, I'd say that was one of those one of those times. Events was definitely a favorite of mine, for sure. So, And one fan had this very heartfelt message 
for Colin. My wife and I have seen you in many venues, both very large and very intimate. And I want to tell you, and I don't know if anybody in this room is going to agree with me or not, but I find you very humble, very genuine, very unpretentious, and that's part of what makes us love you so much. Yeah. And that's a wrap for the Christmas in the Caribbean cruise with Brian White and Colin Ray. I'm Jim Zim. This was my 45th cruise, and one that I will never forget. Just an incredible opportunity to really get up close to two country music performers I've admired since the 1990s. I'm putting links up on the screen now in case you want to see a few other videos I shot during this cruise. A seven-day Western Caribbean cruise on the Norwegian getaway.